Hi guys, my name's Seb Tudor, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain, and welcome back. Um, I just wanted to have a quick talk about stories a little more, because I mentioned them a few times in, in the, these first few videos that I'm doing, and um, they're a big and important thing, like for human culture, for individuals, and um, considering that the way I approach my coaching uh, is through people telling me their stories and then them realizing that their stories that they can analyze that they can break apart that they can they can pick to pieces or that they can hold up as a, a trophy um, it's like there's a reason why every world religion always goes back to a book you know, every successful world religion that has lasted throughout, especially more recent times where uh, technology has has pushed at it and, and kind of, in many cases, and often for the good, um, moved religion to one side, um, there are still a very large number of people um, who always go back to their their storybooks and in some instances you've got things like the world's um, kind of appreciation more recent appreciation of uh, comics and the the mythos surrounding it or things like um, memes from the Cthulhu mythos that have, have ended up flooding the internet you know they're they're all aspects of stories and that, that have been picked up by people and used. And all of the, the recent fuss, for example, over the um, Captain America turning out to be one of the bad guys and the response that that got. You know, it's it's firstly the, the response wasn't surprising but the it, it just shows that the people care and as with many stories they will take away something that may have been intended may not have been intended um, and that level of interpretation is often a an issue because it leads to areas where extremists can come in and twist things and move things around to the extent that then the people that are bought into that idea or those set of ideas can get driven in one direction or another. The one place that this can't happen is in really our own personal stories. As long as you don't blow them out of proportion, as long as you don't um, you don't really um, kind of try and twist things so that you're either in a great light or a bad light or whatever else if you just tell the story then that's it you know this is one of the problems that I have with when I read the newspaper these days or when I'm looking online at, at, uh, at various news sites and there is a very definite leaning or narrative that they want to follow when in many cases the narrative doesn't exist it's a collection of stories or a, an event that stories are being generated from that just pertain to people's lives and yet in some instances they get taken way out of proportion they get um, shaken up. People get put in the hot seat or under a spotlight um, because they did one thing or said one thing or whatever else. And firstly, personally, I find it particularly uninteresting. Why? It's the same reason I, I don't like reality TV, personally. Um, why would I be interested in someone else's life? i got my own to live, you know? Um, but again, it's like stories are so important 
and so would I, if I had the choice, would I stop reality TV? Would I go, no, it's bullshit TV that doesn't seem particularly expensive to make and lets you just showcase, I say normal people, but relatively normal people that you may meet on the street and then instantly regret in some instances. But would you, if I could, would I shut that down? The answer is no, because it's still a set set of stories. Um, it's still something that someone might be able to learn something from. What they would learn, I'm not entirely sure, because whenever I've watched, whenever I've personally watched it, I've not been able to take anything away from it other than people on these shows nowadays, at any rate, seem to see it as a, a ticket to success when for or at the very most a reward for bad behavior um, it's a, a, a conduit for cheap money easily made for the corporations and the, the media outlets that, that display them and I'd imagine it's it's kind of a, a for certain individuals it's a catharsis thing um, whereby you sit down and you can look at someone else's life and you can realize that either that's something that, that is better than your life and you want to aspire to it and this is how these people are getting that or it's a case of um, more in the line of they're doing so terribly or they're under scrutiny for their differences and I'm not. And it's easier to watch them go through that than it would be to stand up and go out and do my own thing and potentially have the same treatment. And then the last one, the last possible thing that I, I feel it could be in regards to that is that it's it's fantasy. I remember I remember like my friends when I was in college always watching cribs on MTV because you've got these fantastical houses with these famous people and you know oh wow it's incredible oh wow it's so cool well oh, they, they they brought us into their house and we get to see all of this stuff and eh, I didn't hold any attraction for me but for them it was either it was something to aspire to it was a fantasy it was interesting because they had bought into the life stories or the the uh, media that the individual whose house was being showed off uh, was in and so the importance of stories even when I don't get it even when I don't I don't understand why there are so many documentaries on the Nazis on the History Channel, but the, but it's important that those things are still there for people. If people want them, if people want those stories, then they should get those stories. It's what makes me so frustrated when I hear people doing things like you know, saying things like, "Oh, you shouldn't say that. You shouldn't do that." Um, oh, no one cares about this because someone will. The only times that I think it's a, that, that kind of like direct shutting down of a of a thing is appropriate is when you're literally talking about the law and that's because the law is there specifically to pro well in theory the law is there specifically to protect people and ensure that the um happy maintenance of society so when someone says oh you shouldn't you shouldn't kill that person that's probably a good bit of advice to actually follow. If someone says, oh, I, I, they should get all reality TV off, off the TV. As much as I don't like reality TV and I find it very dull, I wouldn't do that. Someone enjoys it. Someone religiously comes home after work and their way to unwind is to sit in front of insert current reality show TV name here. <coughs> And it helps them get through their day. So, yeah, that's that's kind of 
just what I wanted to say about stories. Uh, they're important to everyone. And the stories that are the most worthwhile and substantial and the ones that should be the hardest to mess with are the stories that you and I live and the stories that other people live and listening to those stories is one of the best ways to learn so again um, I got a question for you guys and that is kind of what stories would you like me to try and find like leave me a, a, a comment down below because I'm you know I've got stories that I want to tell I've got subjects that I want to go through I've got things that clients have come to me with and yet I also I'm one guy I've met a probably over my lifetime I don't know a few thousand people maybe a bit more than that um, but there are so many more stories out there so many more interesting people interesting things that have been done so what kind of stories would you like me to look for you know because um, it's like Excuse me. It's like what subjects out there do you feel aren't being touched on? Whose stories do you not feel are being touched on? Because as much as I'm not a journalist and I unfortunately don't have the time to run around chasing stories, if I know things that you guys want to see and want to hear about, then at the very least I can do a bit of digging or I can do a little bit of talking around with people to, to maybe give you some something to to look at. Um, anyway, thank you for watching this rather rambly and possibly slightly kind of I had another word there it's gone um, but thank you very much for watching um, please again if you could leave in the description below uh, do you know what guys I've recorded a lot today and I think it's showing because I'm talking bollocks but if you could leave me a comment below telling me what you'd like to see then that'd be great um, if my rambling and my complete brain farts are things that amuse you in any way then please subscribe and stick around for more Otherwise, I'm Seb Tudor, I'm the man on Silver Mountain again, have a good day.